Reigns fans and Reloaders Network, check it out. Gorgeous God-given day. Back on the 50-yard line, the Rimfire 50-yard line. This time, you've seen it on the channel before, but you haven't seen it much. I'm not sure why. I love this rifle. I think because it sits in the back of the safe, I don't get it out much. But it is the Savage Mark II TR in an Oryx chassis. And also, can't forget these guys, RWS R50 ammunition. No, not donated by, by anyone, not, a, not donated by RWS or anything like that, so don't worry about it. But anyways, I'm excited about being out here on the range and trying the challenge with RWS R50 and the Savage Mark II. But here's the deal. Well, before I introduce that to you, let me tell you, is your six covered YouTube channel an X ring YouTube channel? Those guys just joined the challenge. Would you believe it? They just joined the day at the range.com 22 challenge. They've shot the hostage challenge and they plan on shooting the tightest group challenge, the hostage challenge. Whoo. Man, talk about smoking. Can those guys shoot over there? Ray, Rick, and uh, Mr. P, good Lord. Those guys are shooting some very, very nice hostage challenges. You might want to get over there and check their challenges out and see that over there. Uh, if I get permission from those guys, if I find out how to contact them via email or something, I will see if I can get permission to post their video on the dayatherange.com blog. I really should be practicing more on that hostage challenge versus out here introducing to you all a net new challenge that I've been thinking about. I'm not gonna personally call anybody out yet, but take a look at this, folks. So what you have here is a net new challenge. Let's go through the rules and the target right quick. On this target, you will see numbers on the bottom of the target. Those numbers indicate the actual score that we will count up after you put five rounds, five rounds on this target, anywhere that you like. Here's the condition. To get a score, you must hit the black circles and also only one round per circle. These black circles starting with the 10 target here, and that will be the score, like I said. This circle here is 1.6 inches, and then they gradually go down from there. I'm gonna say that there's a three minute timeline on this because of when I figure that this is going to be, one, very fun to get us up off the couch and out at the range with our loved ones. And then two, probably really challenging. So uh, we're gonna say three minutes, but really untimed. And again, all about bra bragging rights. If you take a look over at dayattherange.com, just this week alone, I had five new entries. Got one entry from the UK with an Anschutz 1761. Man, was he shooting. Uh, go and check out the scores over there on the leader scoreboard at dayattherange.com. So there you have it. Again, one shot per target. Five rounds is what you get. You can shoot as many spotters on a different target or what have you, as many as you like to warm up your barrel, season your barrel, whatever we want to call it, and then put five rounds on one target. But to score, you got to hit one of these black circles. And you can see up here for number 30, goodness gracious, I don't even know that I can see that dot from 50 yards. It might be a little unfair. Might just be a wing and a prayer. You never know. You could get one sent down to you from up above, a little slight blessing on the range. But anyways, we're going to get this old target hung up. We're going to try it with RWS, R50, and the Savage Mark II. And honestly, I've forgotten where this thing is shooting, how it shoots, and if it shoots 
any good at all with RWS R50. Just happens to be some of the best ammo that I have on hand at the current time. Let's give this thing a try and see if we can drum up as much attention as we did with the hostage challenge and also the smallest group challenge over on dayatherange.com. You're going to want to stay tuned. Might be a train wreck, but then again, might turn out some pretty serious scoring. Let's get after it. Folks, I got this old crazy target set up downrange. Woo! This thing is only an 18 power scope. I keep turning it looking for more, but there isn't any more. Uh, so I'm going to load five rounds into this thing and uh, see how we can do on this gorgeous day. Very little wind today, about 65 degrees out. Um, Savage Mark II TR. It has had a little bit of work done to it. Uh, it has been recrowned to an 11 degree crown. Um, I did some trigger work to it and then put it in this chassis. Uh, so that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, people always ask me what type of scope. Look, uh, this channel is not highly funded. So, uh, or I could say highly funded by my wife, uh, thank goodness. But it's a Bushnell Engage uh, 6 to 18 scope, which is, which is actually pretty clear. But that's a little bit about the setup. Oh, yeah, I'm using the Ransom Rifle Rest, which is really, really good for a front rest. And that and a um, what is it called? Yeah, it's a protector uh, bumblebee rear bag. RWS 50 Savage Mark II. Whew, five rounds. Here we go. All right. We're going to start off easy, of course. As long as you break that black circle, all good. You get the points for that particular target. Let's see. I'm going to start off with target number 10 for 10 points. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And I choked on the first target and missed for 10 points. And you only get one shot per target. Oh, this is just great. All right. I at least got 12 points there, I think. Yep. Let's go for number 15. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I think I broke that one. I think I did break that one. So that's three shots. We're going to go a number four and a number five on the fourth shot. We are going to go with score number 18. All right, yep, we're going at number 18, dead center. Way left. Not sure how that happened. Golly, way left. All right. And, yeah, folks, since I missed that number 10, I'm going for the gusto. I'm going all the way up to the top. Yep, I'm going for 30. I don't know what I'm thinking, but I sure am going to give it a try. Wing and a prayer is what you call this. No way! No! 
No way. Did I hit it, folks? I don't know. We got to go down range. Let's get down range, see if we hit number 30. Wing of the prayer. Let's see. I don't know, folks. What do you think? Did I hit it? Obviously, I missed number 10 there to the left, but I did get 12 points there. And I did hit old Mr. Number 15. Oh, gosh. I don't know why this thing is shooting left like that. So, uh... Again, left 18. Just like number 10. That's odd. Now, dun 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 dun. Heartbreaker. A heartbreaker. I can't count that. I don't think I hit that dot. I, I know I did. Let's look at it from a different angle. Give everyone different angles. I am pretty sure I did not hit it. No. Nope. Oh, you got to be kidding me. But anyways, folks, there is the next challenge. We're going to call it, what? Day at the range, know your skill challenge. Oh, that is a heartbreaker. Oh, man, you guys are going to have to come to my rescue. Get me out of this rabbit hole. You know what? I think I'm going to shoot some groups with that RWS-50. See what we can do. Well, folks, there you have it. What a letdown. Are you kidding me? Uh, but I can't end like that. I, I just can't. And guess what? I didn't print out any more of those targets. Wasn't sure how well I was going to like this. But man, after that last shot and uh, getting all excited there, then ultimate letdown there at the end. I think I am going to print out more of these targets. And by the way, let me know down in the comments if you like to target. If you like to target, we'll do the same exact thing we've done in the other challenge over at the dayatherange.com blog. We'll put up another page, and you guys should submit your pictures of your target, pictures of your rifle, what your score is. Even better if you submit video, not required. It's, it's just about telling our story, telling our story about our camaraderie virtually out here on the range together. This is just slick. Well, I think what I'll do, uh, since uh, Is Your Six Covered and X-Ring joined the group challenge, man, by the way, if you want to see some fantastic rigs over there, good gosh, man, those guys have really got some nice setups. If you want to know what the cream of the crop looks like, you need to head over to Is Your Six Covered and also X-Ring YouTube channel. Really, really nice setups. I'm almost embarrassed because, uh, man, over at the X-Ring, his daughter's shooting. I think she's shooting circles around me, and she looks pretty young. But anyways, it is about camaraderie. It is about the fun, and competition always helps the fun. Might be time for me to get a voodoo. What do you all think? Let's put two five-shot groups together with RWS-50 and uh, end out the day here. Thanks for joining me on the range. Whew! Oh, what a letdown. I'm, I'm almost sick. All right, here we go. Center target, five shot group. High and left. What is going on with this rifle? Or is it me, folks? All right, another five shot group to the left there.
There we have it, folks. Mr. Revolver Guy with the Savage Mark II TR and the Oryx chassis. You know, when I put this thing together, um, I took the manufacturer's recommendations. I, I just put it right in here and torqued it down to uh, 30 inch pounds. I'm wondering, I never really played with it. Is it time for me to really try to figure out what the action screws should be tightened down to? Maybe so, because I will tell you, in the other stock, the regular stock that came with it, which was a Boyd stock, no type of bedding, no type of pillar bedding, no type of action bedding, uh, it actually shot better in the original stock. From what I remember with RWS-50, I have to go back through some of that footage and see if it actually did or not. Maybe it's just time for me to see if I could play with the uh, torque on the action screws. But there you have it, folks. Let me know if you enjoy this Know Your Skills Challenge. Because, man, we can get another page put up on the blog. We can all come together from all across the world and have a little camaraderie virtually, talk a little trash, have a little fun, while all out on the range. I'll catch you next time. Mr. Revolver Guy, signing out.